So uh, in this video, I want to talk about quantifiers as adjoints. Um, and so this is going to be the syntax part. Uh, there's going to be a semantic part as well. Um, okay, so let's say the following. So, so fix uh, L sigma. Uh, so this means um, we fix sigma and we si fix V. So V is a set of variables, sigma is a signature, and then this is the set of uh, first order formula. Um, and uh, we're gonna let X be a fragment, a fragment, or sorry, a, uh, um, a uh, list of distinct variables. Okay. And um, I'm going to define a category. Uh, so form A, or sorry, form X, this is going to be the pre order of formulas uh, in context. X. Okay, so these are formulas. So the objects, okay, um, here are going to be the set of phi of x where uh, has uh, at most uh, x being free. So we talked about free variables. And then the morphisms. Um, we're going to have, so this is going to be uh, proved here to psi of x. And so we're going to take this to be uh, intuis uh, intuitionistic. Okay, so we're going to assume that there's going to be a morphism when one can be deduced from the other using the intuitionist intuitionistic fragment of logic. Man, I don't know why that's so freaking hard for me. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, uh, so so this is our thing, and so um, so I'm going to define three functors, okay, um, if, in, in this category. So first, we need to suppose uh, y is a set of variables, is a list uh, of distinct variables, uh, distinct from x. So it's totally disjoint, okay? Um, and then here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna define, I'm just gonna define the three things. So there's kind of there's kind of this stupid inclusion for a formula in context with x into a formula in context for x, y, okay? And what this does is it takes a formula and it just maps it to the same formula. Okay, but to distinguish the two, I'm just going to make a, like a little star here. Um, and this is going to be here. So again, these are just strings. Um, the next functor I want to do is I want to do this for all functor. So this is a, so this goes backwards. So we have something in context for X and Y. And I'm going to take it just to, to, to go to a formula with just the context X. And one way to do this is to take the formula where you quantify over y with a universal quantifier. Okay, so you get this new string like this. Okay, similarly, there's another one here. So we have this other category. Oh, sorry, the other another functor. Uh, I guess I maybe I should after this I should say uh, well we do the exact same thing. I should say why these are functors. Okay, so we have uh, uh, this existential quantification. So um, let me just say a little bit about functorality. So uh,
Okay, so the the functorality is pretty straightforward. So I mean, if you have uh, uh, an implication, so if you have, let's say, I don't know, then clearly this gives uh, uh, Lee. Okay. Uh, also, if if you have um, so suppose we have psi of on this maybe we'll, we have it like this. Then okay. So if this implies this, then then uh, uh, we we also have oh, we need to check that it's functorial. Okay. So then we if we quantify over one. Sorry, for all y. Okay, so I'm getting a little sloppy with this notation there. Okay, so and the same goes, so same for. So the same thing with the existential quantifier. Okay, so you know if you can deduce one from the other using the rules of deduction, then then you can do it the same thing with the for all quantifier using your your rules of inference. Um, okay, so we're using the rules of inference, inference for intuitionist logic. Okay, so now um, I guess we should go to the uh, proof. The, and the proof is, is really tautological too. So uh, the proof of adjointness. Oh, wait, I, did, I didn't say, uh, did I make this statement yet? No, okay, so I, d I defined those and I said that they were functors. This is the statement that they're functors. Okay, um, and the, the lemma is the following. Um, the lemma is that, uh, so this guy and this guy is an adjoint pair and, uh, this guy and this guy is an adjoint pair. Okay. So all in all, we have, uh, We have this dude here going to this dude over here. Uh, this one is just the stupid inclusion. And then I've got two guys going this way. Okay, so this one's right oriented. Um, I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do this. And this one's left oriented. So this is uh, the for all, and this is the, uh, so let's see. This is the right adjoint and this is the left adjoint. Okay, so um, whatever. Okay, so let's let's so. Okay, so let's let's prove these things. So the proof is, uh, like I said, it's it's tautological. So um, so it's enough to show. So the first part. So let's do the for all quantifier. Okay, so here we, so suppose we have some morphism from our guy to some other guy. And this is in, okay, we need to show that, that uh, this dude here proves this dude here. And this should be in, in here. Okay, so, um, so this is kind of uh, really silly. So uh, this way, um, so this one is uh, for all elimination. And then this way here is for this for all introduction. Okay, and so we have this two-way inference. 
Okay, so the the claim for the existential quantifier is is, is pretty much the same thing, um, uh, except for you know the arrows are a little bit backwards. So we have this. Uh, Here, okay, and then we have this okay, so here let's do a different color. This is this, this is the introduction here. And this is the existential elimination. So this one here, so this exists in elimination. So this is the unit of adjunction.